Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on June 29th, 2025. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well, earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Noting just recently in my sun short, that big plasma filament on the top right hand corner of our sun did stretch twice the height that it was yesterday and you can see half of it there not all imagery is in just yet having a look now at the last 48 hours incoming as we do have coronal hole coming in and a couple of sunspot regions that are developing and firing away cresting into view cresting out of view this is where we're seeing those large plasma filaments the one on the right hand side southern hemisphere let loose just before the other one started stretching double the height that it was images are not all in just yet imagery brought to you by solar dynamics observatory mixed with daily events worldwide thank you so much for pressing play today having a look now multi-spectrum pointing out the magnetic field of our sun over the past seven days and as well coronal holes and all solar events the last 48 hours amazing images here of that tall plasma filament swirling around, erecting from the surface of the sun. If you check out the most recent short that I uploaded, you can see that big plasma filament looping back into the sun. Another way to see our amazing star during solar cycle 25, which is a solar maximum, and we have reached the sunspot number peak, sunspot progression, Having a look now at sunspot regions in motion and coming into view as we have eight sunspots that are Earth-facing right now. 4122 directly Earth-facing. But no major solar flares the last 48 hours. Still fairly quiet. Current space weather conditions are none except for the accelerated solar winds that are coming in at 449 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux showing strong C-class solar flare from last night. Proton flux is slightly elevated. Geomagnetic activity at a KP2. And here is our most recent solar storm that is headed our way. We do have a coronal mass ejection in the model and expected arrival June 1st into 2nd, or sorry, July 1st into the 2nd. Closer look at the CME models here, Space Weather Prediction Center little green circle on the right-hand side of these spirals, that is Earth. We also have Earth-facing coronal hole that we're going to be dealing with, so stay tuned. I'll keep you updated here with daily events worldwide. Having a look now at LASCO 2, showing the most recent coronal mass ejection right here. That was that plasma filament lifting away and the other one looping around. This is all brought to you by SOHO at NASA. Showing the last 48 hours of cosmic energies leaving our sun. Stay tuned because there is a lot more imagery coming with these most recent coronal mass ejections. Here's a current look at our magnetosphere showing our solar winds, solar wind speeds on the left and solar wind pressure on the right. Not under much pressure right now, but the solar winds are quite erratic. And hitting in the southern hemisphere. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as we're sitting at about 280 earthquakes, according to USGS. And Japan's been a hot spot today. 5.4 rocking Tatsuga, Japan. Off the coast of southern tip of Japan, new volcano has awakened there. Lots of activity through the Aleutian Islands towards the Rat Islands. As well, notable earthquake here, 4.6 earthquake, Deep Springs, California. This can't be good. I have not reported an earthquake there before. There's been a lot of seismicity moving up the San Andreas Fault. So stay prepped, California. Panama reporting a 5.1 today. Guatemala 5.1. Puerto Rico rocking with a northward 3.4 magnitude. 
Notable 4.2 earthquake here, Western Russia. 4.5 earthquake, Norwegian Sea, east of Greenland. Pakistan with a 5.3 magnitude earthquake. That's a large earthquake for the region. Port Blair, India, 4.5 and a 4.4. It's been a quiet region for volcanic activity through that region. I expect that to be rocking soon. Deepest earthquake past 24 hours, 398 kilometer depth. But just recently, we saw a 5.1 earthquake, Fiji. We've got an eruption at the Kilauea volcano, Hawaii. No earthquakes, just a lot of pressure being released there. So just recently, we had the 5.1 Tonga. That's the deepest the past 24 hours and the deepest that we've seen this week. This is a look at the last seven days for shakers and movers around the world take a quick moment to thank you all for watching please don't forget if you live in an earthquake prone zone or in a volcanic range or region stay aware and prepared have a plan and be ready hashtag no fear here just aware and prepared something's brewing thank god that killaway erupted i was expecting it yesterday should have said something She's popping right now. Having a look now at the SO2 forecast brought to, our, brought to you by our active and erupting volcanoes. Big plumes coming out of Japan and as well Kamchatka. Of course, Kilauea. But look at Australia right now in the southern hemisphere. Big eruptions and a lot of sulfur dioxide emissions right across the continent of Australia. As well, some nasty... SO2 coming out of Mount Etna through the Mediterranean and the Congo region. Definitely has lightened up as of late through Central Africa. Now let's have a look at world weather as we've got extreme weather expected all across Ontario as the low pressure system scoots through very warm air and Gulf moisture still funneling across North America. But the low pressure systems are still coming from the north Alberta, and then racing across the prairies. Big systems affecting Europe in the long range, and as well, tropical cyclone here developing in the East Pacific. Long range forecast shows very hot conditions and some extremely uh, severe weather conditions for all of the Canadian provinces. Overlooking Africa, Southeast Asia, and Australia. Watching two low pressure systems here scoot down the eastern coast. Sydney being affected for days upon days. That low pressure system stalls in between New Zealand and Australia. And then eventually makes it towards northern New Zealand. Long range forecast. Big systems moving in to the southern parts of Australia. And as well New Zealand. Heavy rains. And possible cyclone or typhoon developing for Thailand, and as well, long range heading towards Japan. Other than that, no major systems forecast here with windy.com. Notable systems pounding Alaska this week. It's going to be a very wet week. Other than that, big high pressure ridge still locked and loaded off the coast of California to the long range. Low pressure systems get locked in here across the BC coast and start to battle the high pressure ridge off the coast of California. Low pressure system gets locked in there. And here's a look at satellite imagery. Multiple tornadoes racing across South Dakota and as well Missouri. Big systems now affecting central United States and all Gulf states. Much love, thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected. Got some nasty weather here so far in 2025 and no Atlantic hurricanes. Much love, stay safe out there, aware and prepared. Good night.